Spices Appliance Kitchen. It is Wine Down Wednesday, brought to us by Sarasota Manatee Originals, and one of the originals, of course, Madison's Restaurant and Catering with Chef Paul Madison. Great to have you with us. Great to be here. Thank Paul, you. Paul, you just said the most amazing thing for a, a very acclaimed chef. There's a very fine line between brown butter and black butter. That's true. <laughs> so That's true. This takes a lot of care, what mm -hmm. we're doing right now. You're making a brown butter sauce. Yeah. Um, so we're going to poach the fish. We're uh, uh, we're working with walleye, which okay. is a northern fish, freshwater fish, and uh, just season it with a little salt and pepper, and then we're going to kind of poach it in this brown butter. So if you cook at home and you try to saute something in a pan and you put a chunk of butter in there, uh -huh. yeah. and the butter melts, and then it starts to get caramelized and burns. Um, okay, because happens. because uh, butter can get just so hot, all the milk cells in there will start to burn on you. Oh. So um, that's why we typically cook in oil and kind of finish sauces and things with butter. But when you brown it just a little bit, you get this cool, nutty, toasty flavor. Mm -hmm. So we put a little sear on the fish with that. And, and, and you get the most amazing smell in your studio, too. Right, right, yes. Oh, yes. it smells so brown butter. And then, so Tracy, help me out. Grab a sure. little bit of that wine. Yeah, so this is the Chardonnay that? we're serving in this course. Just a little okay. bit? Yeah. Good, good. So when Perfect. you do a wine dinner, you don't just uh, serve the, the wines of the vineyard, you also cook with them sometimes. Absolutely. Oh. I always try to cook with what I'm drinking with the meal. Okay. Um, because it works. It goes well together. Uh -huh. So we're going to make a little rice salad. So I've got a little uh, shallots, um, some chayote, mm. some pomegranates. Mm, that's good. A little grape tomatoes. Lots of things going into yeah. this. All right, Stephanie, you're going to make this at the arugula part of the salad. All right, I love arugula. So we're just going to toss a little dressing. This is a uh, vinaigrette that I made where I reduced a little bit of the wine. Okay. And then there's a little olive oil, some citrus, and um, uh, lemon. So the okay. lemon gives us our, uh, our, our, uh, our little bite or acid. Yeah. So we give that kind of a quick toss. And then we've got some wild rice, which is pre-cooked. And we'll add that now. This is a beautiful dish. It'll be pretty, right? Yeah. And some good colors. Some chives. The smells that are happening here are mm -hmm. everything. Yes, I think this is going to taste awesome. So, um, so when we poach, you want just a little bit of movement. You want to see little bubbles coming up. You don't want a rapid boil. You want to cook it kind of slowly. Okay. So that's like on a medium low. Mm -hmm. okay. Would this work with other white fish? What else would yeah. you recommend? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. hard for us to get. It is. Yeah. You know, flounder, would sole. I was going to say cod too thick. Cod would be good. Cod would work. Cod would okay. Be very good. Yeah. yeah. Um, cod is a bargain at Costco, so I'm always looking at good things to do with cod. I like it. In case you I didn't like know it. that. Um, give me a little bit of greens down. Of course. Right in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. And then we'll put the rice salad right Rice the salad top. is such a good idea because rice gets boring. Right? So I like that you've tossed it, done some fun things with it. Let me get that one in there. Honestly, a pretty at? light meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and that fish is cooked. It got nice and firm for us. Oh. So now, you can just them. touch it on top and tell if it's cooked. Yeah. yeah I mean, well, he can. <laughs> yeah. How would the rest of us kind of do a, He took a little peek. I saw that. A little peek. So are you yeah. cooking it to medium? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. About right? Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's flaking apart perfectly. We're good. Um, and then um, you got so much flavor going on here in your potion, like with that nuttiness. That's where good wine is. Yeah. So we'll just take a little of that to drizzle. Oh, yes. A little drizzle oh. over the top. Okay, so you are doing an entire wine dinner with the Francis Coppola Wines. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about, here, I'm going to move that back just a minute. So turn it now. Perfect yeah. shot yeah. here. Yeah. I'll let you guys get that perfect shot. There we go. Oh, isn't um, that beautiful? Tell us a little bit about, here, I'll make it even more perfect. There's the wine we're going to pair wine. with it. Uh, tell us about the dinner. Tell us about the wines and some of the other courses. Yeah, so um, Coppola's great. Um, you know, Francis Ford Coppola, of course, you know, our film director. Oh, and right. and uh, is in the wine business and has been for many years. And they have a property in uh, St. Helena that used to be the old Ingle Nook Winery. Um, and they produce all kinds of great wines, but some of the ones we see often in retail are just kind of the diamond series, that, mm -hmm. that, that right. diamond shape uh, label that yep. you're familiar with. But today we have Director's Cut. We're using the wines of Francis Ford Coppola for this course. Okay. So he's got several different levers. Le levels. Levels, levels, yeah. Excuse me. So these are um, ones that we're not going to see in the grocery store. Exactly, yeah. exactly. We have Eleanor, which is a tribute to his wife, which oh, is a beautiful nice. red blend. That's a big, robust, beautiful wine. That'll go with our main course, which is venison. Mm. And, um, and it's just always fun. Uh, Jen Singleton, who's uh, um, a representative with um, Francis Ford Coppola and um, 
with the Delicato group as well, which helps to, to uh, market all of his wines. Um, she'll be here. She'll be our special guest for the evening, so she'll take us through. And she just came back from the vineyard. Oh, and, uh, that's so special. So they built a new winery up in Alexander Valley, which is really exciting. And so she'll be back to guide us through all the wines and talk about all the different wines. If and, you've uh, be never been fun. to a wine dinner, and especially with Paul, I've had the honor. It's such a wonderful way to learn about the wines, but learn how they pair wines. Mm -hmm. And then you learn about the vineyard, and then you want to go to the vineyard. Like, it just becomes this whole experience where you really appreciate food and wine and certainly the knowledge and uh, skills of our wonderful Suncoast chef community. So check out the Coppola Wine Pairing Dinner with Chef Paul. It's Thursday, October 19th. And for more information, you can go to madison.com.